G'day everyone, welcome to G'day everyone, welcome to X Resart. I'm Chrissy, thanks for joining me. And hello Shandri, nice to see you here. Welcome, welcome. Alright, I'm going to get on with this. I'm okay, this is uh, I'm on the, the last leg of this. I'm doing uh, for, uh, and I'll just explain what this project is all about for people that are just uh, finding, uh, just stumbling on me. This is a part of a, a March mashup, and this particular one is Grasshopper, Grasshopper Orchid. And this is from last year's list. And I've also got uh, in the description box below, you will see there's a website and uh, Facebook, and we're getting ready for March mashup. 2021 and and I've got to finish this this is it okay so I've got a few more orchids I'm going to lighten her up add a few more details and hopefully I might finish it on this stream um, again oh I wanted to say hello hello Nalani how are you and oh and Cherry hello hello just let me pop out the chat so it's easier for me to read uh, just one moment Okay, cool stuff, cool stuff. Oh, this is cool, much better, much better. Okay, so here we go. Um, and of course, the, the surface that I'm using is pastel mat. And I've put a whole heap of layers of pens. And I'm just working through, and I have used pastel pencils as well. But um, let's go ahead and see if I can finish some of these flowers. Um, I hope everyone's week is really going well so far. I um, hope everyone is well, and that's the that's the main thing. That's the absolute main thing. So, okay, here we go. All right. So, and this orchid now for for people that um, oh, g'day Joanna. Hello, hello. How you going? I'm almost done with work. I'll hurry. I'll hurry to enjoy this. Oh, no problem. No problem. Okay, so um, just to let you know how all of this uh, how all of this project comes about, um, and for people who are just trying to figure out what is March mashup, and what is what is all of this all about, the whole idea is to inspire you to paint. Uh, bottom dollar that is how that is what it is inspiring you to paint now if, especially if you if you're not sure you know what you want to do this is a really good idea um, you know to check this list out now what it is it's a 31 day challenge it starts I mean it is in March it's set in March but I mean you don't have to do all of these projects you know every day anything is possible you can you know just start spread it all through the year through the year round which is what I do oh g'day Heidi hello how you going nice to see you um Shandri says I need two hours before I can leave uh with my old feeling body oh I hope you're okay darling I hope you're okay yeah um I hope you I hope you're okay um, yeah so in essence what it is it's um, March mashup is uh, combining two two living objects and making or uh, two living creatures and making one creature uh, it can be in all kinds I mean um, what I I I mean, it can be an and you combine perhaps maybe if you have a look at both of the animals or the living things and you have a look at what is the most prominent part about that living thing and you try to combine it and make this creature. Um, uh, I've uh, I've done I've done quite a few in the few years that we've had uh, March mashup going. Uh, I've done also all kinds. I've done the the um, like the creatures without the females and combine two to make one I have done that and um, I'm particularly partial towards you know throwing a female in the mix I don't know why it is I, I'm not quite sure it could be portraits 
it could be because I enjoy doing portraits I'm not quite sure so in this situation uh, uh, I can't rush anymore like to take it easy absolutely everything everything you need to take everything easy I mean I mean I could I, I don't want to rush uh, these projects because um, I'm actually quite proud of the ones that I've done so far. I mean, uh, I mean, I've had had some hits and I've had some misses, gotta say. Uh, but you know, overall, I'm actually quite pleased with my progress on how I'm going. Yeah. So when I'm putting something like this together, uh, I'm because I want um, a female in the mix. I try to find now. For example, in this case, there was the grasshopper. And the orchid and when I was designing this uh, particular image and I had a look at grasshoppers you know what they're not particularly beautiful looking I've got to say I mean well I know that there are tan colored ones and then there are really green ones and uh, uh, you know the images that I was looking at the the green ones the only thing I really liked about the grasshopper it's probably a mean thing to say was um, the vibrancy of the green that I that I liked and I like the antennas you know what I mean I really like the antennas and of course that's but when when you look at a grasshopper the grasshopper the image is just pretty flat and it's just well let's just say it's not very attractive looking and of course I want this to look attractive so I um, I took some of the main characteristics and I put it together and the thing that I like well she's got green hair which I'm going to put more details in her hair and of course the antennas and um, that's the grasshopper part of it and then when I was looking at orchids oh my gosh the, you know what there is so much there is a huge se uh, selection of orchids like it's just massive so and I was thinking like in my head eyebrows eyebrows now wouldn't it be nice if I if her eyebrows were orchids so of course then I'll, I'll go looking for a particular type of uh, orchid that would look really really nice and that would suit uh, this particular painting so that's how it all that's how it all happens uh, yeah uh, oh okay all right wrong conversation I'm sorry yeah yeah so that's pretty much it really um, and then oh yeah and then when when I go ahead and uh, make all of um, well then when I got the characteristics of each of these creatures I thought well let me find um, a female which would look really good together with all of this and that's how I came up with this um, uh, particular um, painting here so yeah G'day Marcy hello how are you going nice to see you Okay, so these are all the petals that I'm, um, these are all the petals that, um, that I'm making sure, and of course it's a lovely lime green, which goes really well with, um, you know, it goes really well with, uh, Let me see I think I need a bit of this too uh, it goes really well with uh, the grasshopper colors so um, I'm a bit lucky here I think uh, Cherry says Chrissy um, I saw the list is oh okay I saw the list for March mashup not sure if I could do that uh, need some drawing skills well no one has to see what you're going to do. You can have like a little sketchbook. And um, yeah, it, it does. You know what? It is a challenge. That's why it's called a challenge. 
because it does challenge you to think of things and think of how to put things together. Um, a lot of the times, I'm not going to say all of the time, but a lot of the times I actually see an image in my head. Um, and this is, this is, um, and, but it, do, it doesn't happen just like that. Uh, when I've decided what prompt I want to do, um, then I think about the two, uh, the two characteristics of the, of the creatures and it, it can take days. Like sometimes like, you know what I, uh, because as you know, I've got a day job and when I'm driving to my work, of course, you know, I daydream about art all the time. And so if I wanted to think of a particular topic, you know, like for example, if I'm putting something together, I know what I want to say. Okay, I've said, okay, I want to do this particular prompt. I, I like this creature and I like that creature and I want to put them together. I start thinking and it's a process. So it just doesn't happen overnight. Oh, and sometimes it happens very quickly, but not always. So it all depends. Uh, it all depends. Yeah. Oh, g'day, Abigail. Hello. And Jelena. Hello. How are you going? Uh, okay, Jelena, you're on lunch. I wanted to join in. Keep missing. This. Oh, look, that's okay. That's okay. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, I hope all is well on your side of the fence. Uh, what's cooking, Abigail? Um, I'll be listening while working. That's okay. Hope everyone's doing well. <laughs> now, all good. Uh, mean streams. What is it? Mean streams, not steam. That's okay. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. I totally understand what you're trying to say. That's all right. Yeah, so, yeah. And if you go to the website, you will see some really, um, some really wonderful... Um, and on Instagram too, where people, because you can actually upload your image and upload it in on Instagram in the March Mashup. Uh, you can actually, or tag, no, sorry, what you do, you, you do the, the hashtags and, you know, we repost these and stuff like that. So, yeah, definite. Um, okay, Marcy says, yeah, fantastic challenge to use to practice drawing uh, since the creatures uh, are make yeah, make believe there's no wrong way to draw them. Exactly right. That's exactly right. You know, there's no right or wrong way. I mean, hey, take a look at this. Hello. That's all I've got to say about that. Hello. <laughs> you know, the idea is to be creative. That's the whole idea. That's the, the idea is to be creative if you can. Who knows what you come up with? Goodness me. I mean, I'm the only one that probably, you know, adds the, the female in the mix, but uh, the most people that post things are with animals. You know, for example, you know, like, for example, uh, there's a horse eagle, I think, from memory in 2021 now. I mean, you know, if, if you like painting animals, I mean... Couldn't you put wings on a horse? It almost looks like Pegasus, actually. Uh, so, you know, I've got plans to just, you know, maybe not just have females in this. I actually plan to do a few just straight animals and not just um, not just humans. Um, okay, I'm working from home. We are all, oh, okay, we are in national lockdown. Oh, that is so sad. My son is homeschooling too. School's closed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard about that in the UK. Um, well, you know what? Keep on keeping on. That's what i got to say. Uh, Cherry says, um, I did see one I liked. Might have a doodle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Doodle away. <laughs> doodle away. All right. And, of course, I'm using my brushes. Okay, here we go. Um, using magenta extra dark here. Okay. Oh, and oh, okay, Shandra, you like one too here, did you? Yeah. Well, you know. I suppose it doesn't hurt to try. I mean, 
What's the worst that can happen? Hmm? And it gives you something different. You know, something something different to do, which is really, really nice. Which is a nice change sometimes. Pastel pencil. There we go. Uh, Yeah, Cherry, I understand about uh, the indoors business. It's, yeah, like I totally get it. Lockdowns are not fun, are they? But you know what? If, if you get locked down, it just means what could happen is that, you know, the they're trying to just contain the virus, I suppose. I mean, we've had quite a bit of it here so like I totally get it totally understand all right so that was actually very quickly done here this particular flower okay so uh, doing some details here Okay, they, uh, let me see. Uh, Shandri says, I decided to keep all the stores closed another full month. It sucks when you just moved and you want to, yeah, shop for some fun stuff. I know. Yeah. Hard to, yeah, it's hard, isn't it? And plus it's winter time in the Northern Hemisphere, so it'd be so much harder, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, that sounds like uh, such... Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, only food shops open for us. Uh, you can buy online. Yep, yep. Uh, yep, that's what we had here. We had that here too. Definitely. And it's all about people behaving. I think that's what it is. Like, it's just a horrible thing to say. But it's all about people behaving and doing the right thing. If everyone does the right thing, then, you know, it's not so bad. But you just got to put up with it for a little while. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just using the pastel pencil and I'm actually using Derwent, the Derwent pastel pencil, which is, you know, not my favorite but you know it's all about the color isn't it <laughs> i always maintain that i don't know why well it is because i love the colors um they're just probably a little bit more scratchy than most Here we go, constantly using my brush and backwards and forwards, with the pastel pencils. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Yes. Just wondering with um has there, has anyone watched any really good shows lately that they'd like to share? Um I just I just finished Discovery of Witches by the way. Uh just that is like an awesome show. Um well you know, I always like um <laughs> you know, fantasy that just comes with it. So But yes, I've been watching that with Matthew Good and is it Teresa Palmer? Yeah, they're yeah. Um, I've been busy uh, while in lockdown working on tax returns. Okay, uh, that had to be filed by the thirty first of January. Okay, but now it has been extended to the end of February. Uh, not had time uh, to be fed up yet. Okay, cool. Um, it looks horrible in the UK on our news. Yeah, yeah. Um, Heidi's okay. Uh, Marcy says, Chrissy, I'm going to try the Polychromos 12 pack for the first time today. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. Oh, and what project are you going to do, Marcy? That's so cool. Uh, Jelena says, I've been into watercolor a lot lately. You know what? Uh, I'm actually thinking of doing a gouache project next. How about that, hey? Um, I um, yeah. Uh, Nolani says I love Discovery of Witches. Uh, you need to read the book. Season two is on. Hate having to wait for each episode. Yes, and you know what? I've actually downloaded Nolani. Funny you should say I've actually downloaded the um, uh, the books. Like I'm going to uh, not read but listen to the audio. Uh, audio book so yes I've actually got that on my list I've got it in my library I'm going through uh, some of these at the moment so yes um, yeah I know having to wait is a pain isn't it sure is a pain definite okay next flower wow I'm working through okay cherry says my husband is having his vaccination. Oh, oh, this afternoon for COVID. Oh, well, that's interesting. Is he in the medical field, Cherry? Because usually they're rolling those out for people that are in the medical field. Uh, well, they are here anyway. That's first. Or anything relating to that anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, um, I would leave, uh, okay, I would love to see that video, Chrissy. Oh, absolutely, gouache. Yes, yes, because that's uh, something that I'd like to really work on this year, apart from, of course, the pans and the pastels and all of that. Uh, definitely gouache is on my list, huge on my list. Uh, well, I'm getting ready, you see, so I've got all of these gouache paints um okay Marcy says um it's the it's the avocado in mask uh in unmask art club first time I've ever using the same product as will oh wow that's so cool that's so cool okay Chandra says uh like I need that one shade of green in deco paint uh, but they had three online. They looked similar. So I ordered three. Oh, no. That can be expensive when you start doing things like that. Okay. Oh, my gosh. After arriving, they were so different. Oh, doesn't, isn't that annoying? That is so annoying. Yes, it is. You must be annoyed. But you won't regret it. You'll actually love those. Uh, you'll love those colours. Definitely. Renata. Hello. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Wow. So cool. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Hope you're keeping well. Uh, Nolani says, um, I have watched Fate. The Wink Saga. It was entertaining. A school for Fae. Uh, very much like the Vampire Academy movie. Okay. Uh, it's, set, it's, set as a, uh, it's set 
at a school for Faye and they are also trained the guards lodge. Ooh, sounds interesting. It's all fantasy, isn't it? You know, oh, I love all that fantasy. Okay. Okay, I've been waiting for bamboo green in the Mission Gold watercolour. Paid for months, still out of stock. I have an empty place in the palette for it. Oh, okay. Um, Heidi says, uh, where do you get your audio books from, Chrissy? I'm looking for good and not super expensive source of, for audio books. Uh, I get many of them from a, a free library app, but the selection is limited. Uh, Audible is where I get them from. It's called Audible. Uh, and I pay a subscription and I pay $14, like 14, well, Australian dollars, uh, $14.95, say 15. And I, you know, that entitles me to a free book, well, a book, right? But uh, yes, but the selection is really, really good. I think it's very, very few times where I've actually heard someone talk about a book and I've gone to search for it and that it hasn't been there. It's always been there and it's just really awesome. Uh, I really like it. And what's really good about it with the audio, uh, with the audio, audio books, uh, I mean, when it comes to art, I love to uh, listen to music, of course, and I also love to read books. But what happens, I don't have the time to read. So what I'm doing is, is I'm pretty much listening to books while I'm arting. So, and it, and it helps me, it helps me keeping my bum on the seat so I can actually longer to, you know, doing art. So that's what happens with me. Definitely, yeah. Um, that they've got a really good selection, but it all depends. I mean, you know, with everything, you know, you've got to pay, you know, you pay, what is it? Uh, you get what you pay for. So all depends how much you're willing to spend. That's what it is. Yes, so I'm reading all kinds, you know, I've got, um, okay, Audible is quite expensive, but the experience was okay, except for that, unsub, uh, except for that, I unsubbed and they sent a, a mail that I was cancelled, and then it wasn't, and then I had to cancel again, Amazon is so sneaky, oh, well, that's a shame that you've had that experience, wow, yeah, I mean, what can I say? I mean, I'm sure that there's a whole heap of other places that you can uh, get your books, but that's where I get mine from. I listen to books while I art too. Well, there you go. Yes, um, I have that same Audible subscription, Chrissy. Is there any other source anyone else knows of? Okay, I don't know. Does anyone else know? Anyone in the chat, if they know anyone? I, I haven't gone looking past Audible. Uh, I've been actually quite happy with them, but you know, it's always a, um, it's an experience, isn't it? I mean, if you end up having a really good experience, then it's okay. But my experience has been all right, but I don't know what else is, what everyone else's experience has been seeing. Well, I'm reading it here. Um, I, I love a good mystery and found audible Agatha. Oh, okay, like the, oh, yes, uh, Chrissy on YouTube. I sometimes listen to it while I work. Yes, I mean, there's also YouTube. There are people that read their stories on YouTube. All you got to do is Google it, I suppose. Uh, I have done that as well. Yes, I have. Now that I come to think of it, you're right. Um, what 
Wicked, hello, hello, how are you going? Hi everyone, long time since I caught one. Messed up sleep, oh my goodness, oh wow. It's nice, nice to see you here, Wicked. Okay, my Audible books are so free from online library. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, yeah. There are so many ways that, particularly when, uh, if I'm doing, uh, like I, I love to listen to, to, uh, to books when, uh, when I don't have to, uh, well, it helps me concentrate actually on my art. Can you believe it? It actually helps me concentrate. And when I'm not listening to, to something, I, I can't have the silence. I need either music or I need something that's somewhere in the background. Um, um, is that an OCD thing? I don't know. I don't know, but um, yeah. But uh, definitely I enjoy. And it keeps, yeah, definitely keeps my bum on the seat, that's for sure. Oh, good day, Angie. Hello. Nice to see you here. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Um. All right. Yeah, Chrissy, me too. Um, I, I cannot work in silence too. And I suppose, can I ask you a question then, um, Jelena? When you're, like, now that you're at home, and I know sometimes at work, like, you can't have music or some businesses won't allow you to. Uh, well, in my business where I work, I mean, there's always a television because I'm in the showroom and I'm in the reception area and I've got a television going and we want lots of noise going so that's what's happened there but I know that in some offices they don't want any noise but now that you're at home Jelena do you listen to music while you're working your day job that's what I'm asking um okay uh Joanna says Chrissy listening to stuff in uh in the back is just a create is oh is a creative people working people thing oh okay cool <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, let's just call it that, hey? <laughs> I hope it's not a bad thing. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wicked mm -hmm. says, um, I hate it when people brag about reading books only to find out they only listen to them, which is great and completely fine. Uh, the problem is taking credit for the sacrifice of time and produ uh, productivity, uh, the actual reading tasks. Uh, you can't clean your house, yeah. Uh, for fourth, and read a book. Uh, can you, uh, the amount of work or whatever kind you can do while listening to books. Well, I, I get to, like, I mean, you know, this is what happens to me. I love to hold a book in my hand and and just read right but what happens to me is that i end up falling asleep after i've read the second page this is what happens to me i get all sleepy can you believe it i get all sleepy this is what happens to me so i thought well how am i going to and i don't say that i read physical books i listen to audio books how about that i listen to them um but yes Joanna says, Chrissy, I always have YouTube on during work. Yeah, uh, sometimes music, sometimes other things. Yes, exactly, exactly. Me too, me too. I mean, you know, I've always got something on. Regardless, I've always got something on. So, yes. Definite. Oh, good day, 
Hey, Nanette, hello, welcome, nice to see you here. Um, Angie, oh yeah, that happens to me too, totally knocks me out reading books, okay. So, so does that mean, hang on, let me just go back. Um, so do you, uh, so we could, so are you saying that you like, okay. Oh, okay, Jelena. Okay, while working at home, we don't have any music on as we both have meetings and I also get phone calls. Okay, cool. All right, I understand. I understand. Um, Cherry says, uh, it depends on the book. Sometimes they keep me awake. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, there you go, Angie. I fall asleep. <laughs> well, okay, you fall asleep on the first page. I fall asleep on the second page. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. And so what, does that mean I'm not going to then, then I then I miss out. So I've got to find another way. Yes, totally get it. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. It's something to, and I'm always on the lookout for um, for some really good books. You know, I'm probably more into the um, the fiction, you know, like the fantasy stuff, or you know. And I've got to say, I like my romance ones too. Like I'm almost, I'm almost embarrassed to say, but yeah, I love my romantic ones too. You know. You know, like, yeah, you want a, a nice story, like a, a happy ending at the end. How about that? Um, yeah. I mean, hey, I watch Bridgerton. I mean, isn't that a romantic show? So you can imagine, this is where... um. And fantasy, of course, fantasy. I like those. Yeah, fantasy. So it's fantasy and romance. <laughs> I'm almost too scared. To, I'm almost shy to um uh, to admit to that. But anyway, okay. And it said, I'm I'm I was the same with audiobooks. My mind would wander, and I would just and I just couldn't do it. Oh wow! It took me a while, and now I love audiobooks. Yeah. Okay, I'm too cynical for happy endings. <laughs> I love happy endings. What are you talking about? There is such a thing as happy endings, okay, Nanette? It's called posit it's called it's called glass half full, okay? That's what it's called. <laughs> don't be going half empty on me, alright? So don't be doing that on me. Um Okay, Cherry goes, I was, uh, okay, I'm watching Bridgerton at the moment. <gasps> oh my gosh. And can, can I just say, like, this is embarrassing too. I truly enjoyed the Bridgerton. Yes, I've watched the Bridgerton. You know what? I sat and I watched it in like two days. Like, I just couldn't handle it. I had to, like, there was, uh, yeah, I watched it in two days. You know, my eyes were falling asleep. I was watching it one day like in an afternoon i probably watched about i don't know three or four episodes and it got to the point where it was like almost bedtime and i was getting tired and i go oh my gosh i really want to stay awake but i couldn't and i needed to watch it all this is what i'm like and then if that's not bad enough then i go ahead and watch the whole thing again like i've never watched it before mm -hmm. oh i'm like that I'm like that. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay, I get annoyed when I'm in trouble. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know, Cherry. Like, I understand about all of this audio books. And, you know, we, well, you know what? You just rewind it and go back. I mean, this is what I do. 
I mean, I know. But yeah, like with the shows, oh, like it's just, you know. And of course, you know, one of my favourites is Outlander, of course. And I have to now sit and wait until the next season comes. So what am I going to do? Sit there twiddling my thumbs, waiting for. And that's when I find all of these other shows, which are really good. Queen's Gambit was one which I really liked. Really, really liked. I really, really liked that one. Very clever. So cleverly done. Yeah, I really, really liked that one. As far as the show is, but um, yeah, but with audiobooks, oh yes. Um, actually, what I really like doing is that once I've seen a show, once I've seen a show, then I go back and then I listen to the audiobook. This is what I do. Or before I was listening to the audiobook, I could, I would uh, read. Uh, read the book like physically read the book so that's something that I would do after I've watched the show or, or the movie whatever it is if I'm really really into it um, yeah okay I have to work again lunchtime over my son has made himself and me a hot chocolate oh nice uh, I might just uh, try and listen in and hope the phone system kicks in when it rings the phone system is on my laptop okay cool all right no worries Jelena my dear thank you so much um, I, I, I will still be here just working uh, see how I go okay cool 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 all good all good yeah yeah Yeah, but it's mainly when I've, um, most of the time, not all of the time, but it's when I've actually seen the show, that's when I go out seeking the audio, uh, the audio book. I know it's a bit weird, um, when I, it's particularly when I know what's going to happen, but I don't care about that. I mean, yeah, I do, okay, uh, okay, I'm back, says Heidi, uh, uh, I'm back to my love-hate thing with Karen Dash pastel pencils, oh, uh, for a while they were sharpening more or less okay, now it's sharpening down half the pencil with blade, uh, before it stops breaking, oh, that's frustrating, isn't it? And it says, um, I like to listen to audiobooks that I've already read. And I'm thinking of listening to the Queen's... Oh, yes. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Uh, by the way, I, I don't know, Nanette, have you seen the... Um, have you seen, like... Uh, uh, sorry, have you seen the, um, the show? Uh, the Queen's Gambit? Uh, it's... Um, where was it? It was on Netflix here in Australia. Uh, I assume that it would be there too. I'm not quite sure. Everywhere else in the world, I'm not quite sure. But that's what we had that. And I tell you what, oh, really well done. So well done. Um, okay. Um... Uh, I'm just trying to look for that pencil. Okay, it's not here. Oh, I've got it. Okay. Um, Heidi, because um, Heidi, you um, cause you sent me some Karen Dash. And yes, I do understand about the sharpening. Yeah, not good. It ha it, the only way that you can sharpen those would be on a blade. Yeah. Um... And Cherry says, yeah, there's always more in a book. Yeah, when you watch the show, of course, because it's very hard for them to adapt and make it. Yeah, the adaptation is different uh, from a book when it comes from a show. Totally agree, Cherry. Yep. Uh, so that's probably why the book is always good to read or to listen to. How about that? Listen to, yeah. Yeah. 
sharpening pa uh, sharpening pastel pencils is probably the con when it comes you know how every medium there's a con and there's a pro and a con pastel pencils that's there's a con with that uh, I love pastel pencils as you know look I've got them in my hand uh, but the sharpening is just some people swear by certain sharpeners you know what it all depends on the core i have found i'm i'm i've come to the re to the realization it's all about the core and uh the wood the cedar sometimes the blades there is a combination yes i i struggle with sharpeners all the time just when i think i've found a really good sharpener it does the dirty on me. <laughs> does the dirty on me. Yeah. Yes. Um, I was actually going to bring up the airbrush uh, project that I did earl that I've uploaded earlier uh, this week. Uh, I was actually really pleased, and I just actually wanted to talk about that because uh, there are people that have been asking me what kind of airbrush that I use, and I've kept it by me very. Uh, I've kept it close close by so I can actually tell people about it yeah this one here it's now you can't see it but it's here we go people have asked me um, this is the Iwata HPCH H line this is it here and it's made in Japan okay and the reason why i wanted to bring up because people are asking me and people have been messaging me and asking me about that project and have been asking me about that airbrush and i gotta say i am so pleased that people i'm so pleased that i tried it i mean i've i've had it i've got it but it's all tucked away and it's not out ready for me to to pull out but I tell you what, I think I'm going to be using that a lot in my backgrounds uh, for my pastel projects. Um, so, and I mean, look, the, the pans are fantastic still. They're still fantastic too. But, you know, it's just a, a really nice alternative and a nice change. And but what I noticed the most is that sometimes, you know, when you want to get a, like a really rich black, 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 and sometimes it's very hard with pastel. You've just got to really keep on working it. I mean, as you can see, I've used this black pastel. And you can... But what you can do with an airbrush is just use black in certain areas and then touch up again with your, with your pan to make it even richer and using other colours. Yeah, so you're going to be seeing me a lot doing... Uh, using uh, the airbrush and so I'll probably do it on stream as well so you know I needed to to figure it all out before I totally embarrass myself <laughs> because you know what I am a novice with this with the airbrush so you know it's a learning curve and um, I just want to share what I'm going through at the moment okay Marcy says Okay, oh, let me see. Uh, I just ordered the Derwent pastel pencils. Nanette, why did you do that? Please tell me why you did that. After all the things that I've been saying about it. Actually, you know, you know what? Maybe this, maybe the Derwent, I hate to say it like that, but maybe the Derwent, maybe they've changed it since I've bought these. Now, these are. Uh, I've had these for a while, so maybe they've changed their formula. It's only because they get scratchy, so be careful. And of course, look, I've got them, I use them, but I use them for certain colours. So I've just got to say. Um, um, 
Marcy says, Chrissy, did I miss a post of your finished New Year's Eve painting? No, you haven't missed it. It's there and I've got to finish it. I've got, let me see, one, two, I've got three, un oh, four unfinished. But that's okay. I'm really good with things like that. It doesn't really worry me. Um, so I've actually got to now finish all of these other ones. No, I haven't. So I've got to... I've got a few bits and pieces left to do on that one. But no, you haven't missed it. <laughs> you haven't missed it, but thank you for reminding me. Um, okay, Jelena says, yeah, good idea to use the airbrush for pastel. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, yeah, see, you know what? I like it how you guys keep me in check. You know, you don't let me get away with anything, which is really, really good. You know? That's all right. Okay, Chrissy, sorry, was making coffee and maybe missed a comment, but what's uh, what's making you prefer airbrush over large sponges and uh, pan pastels? Well, I suppose it's m me just discovering what I can what else I can do probably on pastel mat I think that's what it all boils down to um, not that they're not that I would prefer anything like they're both the same but I think it's a really nice alternative this is what I'm trying to think of and I'm going to be using airbrush in some color pencil projects uh, for example uh, doing some backgrounds but yes now that's a very good point uh, what's making you prefer it's not I'm not really preferring I think it's just a change yeah just a change and the what I really like is the only thing that I really like the most about it is that I can get a really rich black I think that's the thing with the addition of this without making it look uh, flat and of course using other colors uh, to making it look nice and rich yeah it's just a change just something different I suppose because I'm always using uh, the pans and it would be nice to see what else I can achieve and I think that if I don't try things then I'll always stay the same doing the same thing and I don't want to do that and of course you know I have been using these for um, a long time and I'll, I'll use these all the time but I also like to use other mediums that's why I'm actually going to be uh, concentrating on gouache as well and doing some mixed media projects which um, I'm really looking forward to so yeah okay uh, by now I have them all except the new color okay okay I'm thinking about getting uh, getting one uh, getting okay I'm thinking about getting one problem uh, nowhere to store it okay I will have to wait until my garage uh, converted into an ah uh, yes yeah well, space I've got to tell you I'm actually I, I need space too and I thought that I could never fill my little art space here but I'm it's it's to the max here so but yes uh, and then it says hang on where was that comment oh yeah I love the colors of your pan pastel palette this morning yes it's actually quite nice I actually really like these they are, I love lime to be honest I love lime yeah yeah yes I'm actually liking these too I like this color and I've actually got to lighten her up she's actually quite a bit dark so I'm actually going to lighten her up. But at least you're getting to see me finish the, finishing these. Um, I, oh yeah, and here's something I actually wanted to ask as well. Um, I, wanted to, I wanted to start streaming on the weekends um, and changing the time. Uh, is this something that that is uh, okay with uh, some of you? Um, you know just changing it up I mean I'll probably do the Wednesday streams but I also want to do uh, some weekend streams as well so is this something that people uh, would like so it would be evening for the Northern Hemisphere 
um, and uh, it would be sort of like um, say you know 10 o'clock a.m. my time so it would be evening uh, I'm not quite sure in the UK I might it might be actually a little bit too late in the UK I might need to start a little bit earlier but yeah I just wanted to see how you feel about that uh, Jalen says um, I would love to see a tour of your studio Chrissy you know what I'm actually going to tidy up my studio before I show you because it is it looks like a bomb hit it <laughs> there are things everywhere there are things everywhere it's untidy at the moment and you know and it's because I've got three or four projects on the go and of course I've got things you know like colors and stuff that I'm using on each one so yes but it's messy but don't worry I'll show you I'm no problem um, Sergio hello who else is into taking their own reference uh, photos oh yeah I'd, I've done that how are you by the way Sergio I hope you're well uh, Chrissy uh, Nanette says uh, whenever you stream is fine uh, with me I'd love a weekend stream absolutely then I'm actually going to do that I've been thinking about it and I wanted to do a few weekend ones which means it's like uh, for example if I was to do one say my Saturday morning it would be say um, in the northern hemisphere it would be say Friday night you know um, okay um, I don't uh, I don't matter about the mess uh, nice to see what you work in oh okay okay my studio looks like looks the same uh, the upstairs of my house looks like night oh, sorry the upstairs of my house looks nice and tidy and then when you go down into the studio war zone for sure okay cool uh, okay Sergio says Chrissy I have been here since the start of the stream you might have missed my hello yes I did miss your hello oh my gosh sorry I'm so sorry please forgive me you have to forgive me I am so I apologize if I oh see I hate missing people um, okay, uh, I'll have to go soon as I'm following Will's tutorial and he start. No problem, Cherry. I'm so glad that you're doing this. Yes. All good. Oh, yes. For people that um, may not know, uh, Will's got an art club. So it's actually... Um, so, But you have to be subscribed. And he has his art lessons over there, so which are really cool. Uh, I I subscribe. I'm I'm a subscriber, and I you know pop in from time to time. Not always when I can. Um, Gabriella, hello, nice to see you. Wow, this is so cool. Hello. Um, Wicked says okay. Mm -mm. Uh, bye all watch I will watch this later okay bye for now uh, cherry uh, good luck with all say 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 hello to will for me <laughs> okay all right so okay let me see what's going on here um, okay I'm really like how she's looking and so what will happen is that I'll have to walk away for a while and come back to her okay so I'm going to start lightening this up a little bit and I'm going to pull out some of my pans now this is what I've got see look I even I even label it grasshopper orchid so I know uh, and then I store these and I put these away I mean I could chuck them out of course I could chuck them out but um, I like to look at these and it's interesting when I look back uh, the colors that I've used and sometimes I recognize um, the different colors not so much the skin tones but I do recognize uh, the other colors that I use okay she needs to be lighter very much lighter here All right, so raw rumba tint, lightening her up, and might even use 
Might even use the the turquoise. Oh no, what's that one? Oh yeah, the phthalo green. No, no, I'm after the turquoise. Oh, where is it? Is it here? Well, actually, no, the phthalo green is okay to use. Just to highlight certain areas now that's how you know you've actually got too much pastel is it when um oh, oh oh hello janice how you going said it before but i guess nobody in your uh i guess uh, nobody in your ear to tell you oh my gosh there you go yes i know no one's in my ear today that's all right Okay, so I want to add, there we go, this is a nice highlight here. So, there we go. Just, there we go. All right. I'm going to lighten her up now. She's just too dark. Okay. needs to be a little bit lighter here and I find the green is really really good when it, it desaturates um, Okay, and this says, Chrissy, I use my fingers to blend um, and I want to reach through my screen and blend that cheek for you. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know, it's okay. I'm, I'm doing it. I know, it, I know it must be hard to watch sometimes, like some of the things, the goofy things that I do. But yes, yeah, she's a little bit too dark. But that's okay. I'm lightening her up now. But I always start dark because I know that I can lighten without damaging the tooth, that is. There's quite a bit of pastel on here, I've got to tell you, there's quite a bit. with how she's um so lightening her up a little bit more here There we 
go. having a look at my reference Screen. Okay. No. Okay. Hmm. it. I just picked up some red iron oxide. Yeah, I just picked some of that up. I just want just some a little bit of warmth as well. Got to be careful because it's green, so it's going to cause mud, but I've got, I'm just very careful, so I've got that in my head. Okay, I'm going to use some pastel pencils now, just on her hair, slightly here. All right, it's a little bit scary. These are my scary bits. make sure I got the right colors Carbothello this is what I'm using here uh, was that Steve is Steve here oh Steve hello good morning um, late but I'm an old grandpa. No, you're not an old grandpa. Serious. Uh, oh, Tammy, hello. Nice to see you here. Um, so cool. So cool. Thank you for popping by. Okay. Okay. I just want to, yeah, I just want to bring out a little bit of the green, not much. Yeah, it's not the right one here, but um, yeah, this is um, Conti. This is a Conti. I don't use these all the time as well. I'm not, but sometimes I find myself going for those ones. So. I'm not sure why I do that. Um, again, I think it's the colour. Um,
Uh, and it says, um, I have a very old set of Conti pastel pencils uh, from when I was in high school. Okay, well, you know what? I don't even know what formula they're using. Maybe, I mean, I'm sure that they change. They have to change, I'm sure. But um, the core in these are, if you compare them, oh, look, it's very hard to tell here. But... Um, you definitely you can see that there's so like this is the Carbothellos, that's the Faber Castell. I or this is the Conti's always got a thicker core, like it's always thicker, yeah. And it's a a thicker pencil as well too. Um, not sure, I couldn't tell you, but um, I mean it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, And you know what, I don't have to press very hard with these, to be honest. Because uh, the minute I touch this on the uh, the minute I touch this on the um, on the surface, the colour just comes up real quick. So I'm not sure. Uh, all I can say is that it's just full of pigment at the risk of sounding like a broken record. I don't know about if the, if the binder's got anything to do with it, but I can tell you now that it's um, there's a lot of pastel in this pencil in the Contis. Um, that's the difference. Uh, Tammy says, okay. Oh, um, Tammy says, Chrissy, the portrait is really cool. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, Nanette says, yeah, they're huge. Yeah. So, you know. Well, so you know what, I might, um, I mean, I see how I go, I might live stream this, this weekend, so if you're around, uh, and I need to finish some projects, so, you know, I'll be arting, so I might as well, I'll see how I go, but, um, yeah, I might do a few pop-ups, how about that? Chrissy, hello. Hi everyone and Chrissy. Your artwork. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice of you to say that. Um, what's the Oculus Quest? Okay. Okay, just note for everyone, the certain cheap items on Amazon, uh, they'll sell on Amazon for a lot more than you can get on eBay. Always do a quick guess. Okay, well that's good. Good tip, thank you. Especially, okay, especially the little art supply tidbits like pencil extenders, makeup brushes. But yeah, okay, cool. See, this is the do one. It's a bit scratchy on this now, so I've got to be careful. Okay. What can I do here? I've been trying to fix the lips and the eyes. Sometimes, like, they can get a bit... Well, 
this is a bit scratchy now too, the Conti. Okay, hi Chrissy and Aunt Friends. Hate the cold weather. Oh, okay, it's warm here. Um, Joanna says, Chrissy, this piece is really wonderful. Can't wait to see uh, when it's done. Yes, thank you so much. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for that. She's got all of this hair around her ears. Okay. need to make her a little bit lighter still let me see how much time have I got uh, she needs around here she's just still too a bit a bit dark You know you've had too much pastels when you start to see it move and now the pastel's moving on the surface so I know I've actually got quite a bit of pastel on here. But I just need to add some certain touches. Okay, Steve says, Chrissy, I think the alien in that private message I sent you was from Australia. Uh, for no reason. The alien just wants to punch someone. <laughs> you, know, you know, Aussies are a bit weird, I've got to say. <laughs> what can I say? I don't know. Something happens. I don't know. There you go. Okay. Um, mm. Okay, I think she's looking close to being done a little bit, I think. Actually, that's a bit loud there. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, she's going to sit on my easel for a little bit. And I'm going to look at her for a little while. And see what else she needs. Now I think I'm I'm done uh, done from looking at her. Okay, but it uh, okay. 
Okay. Oh, thank you, Janice. Thank you, Janice. Okay. I'll probably fix the hand a little bit here. Um, oops. Um, I'll fix the hand a little bit here and see what else needs to be done. But yes, I think she's pretty close to being done. All right. think we're done with her pretty much okay lovely portrait Chrissy and with a hand included too yes well you know how I love my hands don't you yes for sure for sure well I think I yeah I'm, I'm not going to do too much to her I'm actually going to walk away I'll probably take a photo of her and and then I'll look away and because sometimes it's like when you look at a photo, that's when you realize, oh, look, her nose is like this. Her lips are like that. Her ear is like that. Her hair is like that. So that's a very good way to look at it too. But yes, no, I just wanted to, yeah, I think I might call it a stream, I think. Um, okay. Uh, all right, so no, I think I'll call it a stream and um, I'll see how I go. I'm not promising anything, but I might even do a live stream this weekend. So, but it'll be a different time. It'll be, you know, uh, it'll probably be evening on your side of the hemisphere and morning for mine. Um, but yeah, no, look, I just wanted to say thank you everyone for joining. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm just looking at hers, you know, I'm looking at her, see what I can do with her. Uh, but yeah, no, I've actually quite enjoyed doing her, really, really doing her, painting her. <laughs> I always say the wrong things. It was wonderful hanging out with you all, very, very uh, lovely people. And it was all very nice hanging out with you. So I just wanted to say again, thank you so much, everyone. Um, well, look, I'll see you uh, next week uh, for sure. Same bat channel, same bat time. Um, Everyone, bye for now and um, talk to you soon.